Thanks for joining us here at Rockwell Automation. Today we'll see how simple it is to install auxiliary contacts used with your Bolton 140G molded case circuit breaker. For this demonstration we'll be using a 140G G frame, but the process is the same for the iframe breaker. As always, safety is a priority. To prevent electrical shock, make sure to disconnect from any power source before installing or servicing the product. Note that the breaker should always be installed in a suitable enclosure and in an environment free from contaminants. If the breaker is not in the trip position, depress the trip button, which will allow us to begin the process. Remove the machine screws holding the faceplate on the breaker, located in the upper right and lower left positions on the breaker. Now simply remove the faceplate by lifting it off the breaker. Set the screws and faceplate off to the side so that we can reinstall them in a few moments. If your breaker includes any plugs protecting the slots, you can remove and dispose of those you will be replacing with an auxiliary contact. Notice there are markings above the auxiliary slots. Some slots are used for auxiliary contacts and others for alarm contacts. It's important that the function of your contacts is compatible with the markings on the slots. The contact function is defined by the markings on the side as well as the numbering on the contact leads. Next insert the auxiliary contact into the appropriate slot pressing firmly to ensure full engagement. Then run the wires out to the side of the breaker. You'll find a small plastic tab among the parts you received with your breaker. Slide that over the wires, creating a channel for the auxiliary contact wires to follow. Now you can replace the faceplate and tighten it down with the screws. You've now successfully added auxiliary contacts to your breaker. If you have any additional questions, please go to ab.com or contact your local distributor. Thanks again for joining me today.